Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated has a current strategy of expansion of territories. They participated in 14 expansions of territory transactions during 2016. One of the concerns that we have with the company's current strategy is that they are too focused on expanding territory than exposing current products that they offer. Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated External Environment Sustainability consists of five major groups that all go hand in hand with one another. They focus on the future of the world by protecting natural resources through water conservation and reduced emissions. On their plants, they recycle wastewater that was used in the manufacturing process and still have quality standards causing them to exceed U.S. industry standards for water conservation. One of their plants in Charlotte discharges water that is clean as the water that we purchase today. In 2008, Coca-Cola has partnered with many external organizations such as World Wildlife Fund, better known as WWF, to protect the wildlife and well as well as rivers. In addition, WWF, the company has come up with a program that encourages consumers and companies to recycle across the world called Recycle and Win. Not only are they encouraging the outside community to recycle, they also encourage they also do this as well regarding their packaging, making it 100% recyclable. There are seven core values, strengths, of the company, weaknesses of the company, and inclusive, welcoming, diverse promotion of future product innovation are key factors of Coca-Cola bottling company's internal environment. The core values are important to any company that enhances the working environment. It helps companies separate themselves from other competitors, as well as educate its customers and potential customers on the identity of the company. The core values for Coca-Cola Bottling Company is leadership, passion, integrity, collaboration, diversity, quality, and accountability. And these core values are considered the molding glue of the company and keeps the wheels rolling. Coca-Cola Bottling Company has have two major strengths, including powerful market share and brand multiplicity. For their powerful market share, Coca-Cola has only one clear competitor, which is Pepsi. However, Even with this competitor steadily growing, Coca-Cola has the highest revenue growth of non-alcoholic beverages at $41.9 billion. And the second largest is Pepsi with only $30.144 billion. Then for brand multiplicity, Coca-Cola owns and distributes over 600 different brand beverages compared to their competition, Pepsi with only 56. Moreover, 13 of those brands include Sprite, Powerade, Dasani, and these earn an average revenue of at least $1 billion each. With different brands, the company can satisfy different customers' needs and tastes. With multiple beverages that produce revenue, Coca-Cola is never worried about beverage failures such as the New Coke failure in the 1980s. With low demand for the New Coke beverage, the company can rely on the other brands to produce sales. Moreover, the internal environment for Coca-Cola Bottling Company is inclusive, welcoming, and very diverse, which helps the the employees feel value at this company. One big part of Coca-Cola Bottling Company is diversity in people, talent, and ideas, which adds a cutting edge to this company. Their diverse environment is a way to promote innovation and future opportunities for them to grow. All in all, the, this company's internal environment is a fair environment that allows employees to thrive and grow and succeed within the company for numerous of years. When I conducted the financial analysis of the company, I noticed that the net income attributable to Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated for 2016 is roughly around $50 million. I also noticed that that net income has decreased from the previous year, 2015, from by $9 million. I would say that this could be misleading to investors because all that they see is that the net income decreased, but that increase in 2015 was from a sale of business, and I feel like that should be emphasized more. I also noticed that a huge chunk of the cash flow was used for investing activities, and I would say that this is because the company has a strategy of expansion of territories.
In 2016, the year in retained earnings is higher than any of the other years presented in the financial statements for comparative purposes. The debt to equity ratio is 5.75 for the year 2016. One of the other things that I also noticed was that the cash decreased for the year, but the accounts receivable accounts, both for the regular one and the one for a Coca-Cola company, has increased. So do we not have cash on hand because we're waiting to receive money from our vendors? As mentioned earlier, we noticed that the company has a strategy of expansion of territory, and they have been doing that thus far since 2014. One of the recommendations that we have for rebranding the company is to provide more exposure to the wide array of products that the company offer instead of just focusing on the expansion of territories and also instead of just providing advertisement for Coca-Cola.